the stars are hiding, hiding. And it's all Hi, my name is Deanna Olson. I am the founder and CEO of Balzac's Coffee Roasters. And I invite you all to come and visit us at our new Kleinberg Balzac's Coffee. My love for coffee started, I think, when I was quite young. Um, my family is, uh, my background is Norwegian, and coffee was very central to the family getting together. Um, it didn't have to be coffee, it was often tea or hot chocolate. Um, but it just really gave, it's a simple way for people to sit and have a break and talk and have conversation. and. Um, you don't make a big deal about it, and it's very informal, and those are all things that I love about it. I decided I wanted to get into the coffee business when I was in my mid twenty, early mid-twenties. I wanted to be self-employed, and I think my father instilled an entrepreneurial spirit in me and did make me fearless. Um, I didn't see the kind of barriers that maybe a woman of my age at that time should have seen, but I was just forged ahead and did it. And I learned how to roast coffee, uh, bought a roaster, and found that I really had a passion for it and, um, and that there was an opportunity for a business there. I really saw that that segment of the coffee industry, the more the independent cafe, um, there, was, there was room for that. So that's where it all started. I went on the Dragon's Den in 2012. At that time we were, we had already been open over 10 years. So it wasn't um, a new business going and pitching an idea, it was actually an established business. But I did need funding, I had, I had signed two leases and um, had previously opened two cafes, so my, my ability to get financing through the banks um, was, was going to be an issue. And so, let's just say I was desperate for some financing. But, um, and also I just thought, why not, it would be a fun thing to do, a good challenge. And um, yeah, so Bruce Croxon and Arlene invested in the company and um, became shareholders and we, we received the funds to open the two cafes that we, had, that we had signed the leases for, which are great. I think I'm a bit old school. I still love um, a good, large cup of co brewed coffee in the morning. I sort of tend to go for the darker roast, medium to dark. Not really dark. I don't like a to totally French roast, but um, and I'm, you know, I'm not a coffee snob. I put cream and sugar in my coffee. Actually, I put cream and maple syrup in my in my coffee. That's my perfect cup of coffee. I do drink it black too. It depends how I'm feeling. Uh, and then in the afternoon, I love a cappuccino with, with regular milk. Um, and that, that kind of keeps me going through the day. What makes us a fit in Kleinberg, I think, um, the history of the company, it started in Stratford, Ontario, the first cafe. Um, we also have a cafe in Kingston, a cafe in Niagara-on-the-Lake, in Port Dalhousie, all in heritage historic buildings. And it's and then of course in Toronto, the, in the distillery in Liberty Village. Uh, it's just become part of our brand and when the opportunity came here, um, this this house in particular, I just fell in love with it and fell in love with the, the community and just saw it as a perfect fit for us actually. And, and um, the landlords for this building really, really saw Balzac's as being a fit as well. 
and between the two of us we, we put a lot of effort and finance into restoring the house to its original state and so even this room that we're sitting in now used to be a storage room and we, um, we thought why not open this up for the public so yeah it was a great challenge I'm glad we did it the decor in this cafe was not so much about creating something new it was going back to what was already there so we we removed some interior walls that had been added um, and so we, we opened up the rooms the way they were originally. Uh, we restored the fireplaces, um, there's two, two fireplace mantles that we, we brought back to life. Um, but the, there were so, there's so many architectural features here that were here, you didn't necessarily notice them, but we brought more attention to them. I don't know if you can see the beams in the walls and um, there's a lot of original features that um, we, we drew attention to. And the, the palette of the whole building is very neutral. We, we just wanted to have very light greys and whites and sort of like a blank canvas and I was tying it into my, my thoughts about the, the town itself. And, um, the connection with art and artists and painting. So that be kind of came my jumping off point for, for the design. The posters for the cafes, every cafe I design a poster that represents that cafe in, in sort of a fun way, it's not always obvious. Uh, usually pull some history of the community, of the building. And um, this one just came, it, it came so easily to me what, what this poster should be and what the caption would be. And uh, it's, they're not always that easy, but it, it was an easy one and, and I love it. It's uh, actually, I have this poster I have in my, in my home. It's uh, got a central part of my home because it, it also speaks a lot to what the company is about and also what I am about which is is tying in coffee with art and creativity.